Well, five years ago today, Pope Francis signed his apostolic exhortation on the family Amoris Laetitia to commemorate the Holy Father announced a special year of the family and dedicated this year to St. Joseph. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn takes us to a church in Rome where it is celebrating more than just St. Joseph's feast day. The Church of St. Joseph the Carpenter overlooks Rome's ancient city center, known as the Roman Forum. The original church was built on a prison where it is believed Saints Peter and Paul were both imprisoned. In August of 2018, two-thirds of the roof collapsed, dragging along with it the gilded wooden ceiling and damaging the marble floors. The church was closed at the time and thankfully no one got hurt. The director of the restoration work, Alessandro Bazzetti, says it was like witnessing the aftermath of an earthquake. It was really a disaster. Bazzetti says the roof collapsed in an extraordinary way, where many of the architectural frames from the ceiling were intact. But while removing the rubble, the real miracle happened. The face of the Madonna that was carved on the ceiling was found face down on one of the pews. Upon removing a piece of the rubble, they found baby Jesus on the ground, gazing up at his mother, the Virgin Mary. Pazzetti says the sacred objects were put in the hands of restoration experts and art historians, while architects started to rebuild the roof, decorative ceilings, marble floors and interior facades. 95% of the statues were restored and 60% of the architecture was reused. And exactly one year after the collapse, they blessed the new roof. And today, on the Feast of St. Joseph, it inaugurates the newly restored church in the heart of Rome. In Rome, Colum Flynn, EWTN Newsnightly.